What is up guys, welcome back. In today's video we have a interesting, interesting set. It's a 4LL4 set. So if you're not familiar with my, my little naming terminology, it's four lost leads in a four and a, or four and one set. So four wins, the four at the end determines the wins. The beginning talks about how many leads that were lost. And so if you are submitting a set, I do think the most interesting sets are ones where you lose the lead a lot and you still come back and win. I think a lot, most people agree. Um, it's pretty easy to win a game if you win the lead and then win switch advantage if they switch out. So it's not like the most interesting, but I'm always interested in sets where you lose the lead and come back. And so this set is very, very interesting. So shout out to uh, Wolago for submitting the set. And it's funny, the game that he did lose was actually the one game where he won the lead. So it is kind of an interesting set. Uh, really, really close battles. Um, but let's just get into it. Well, before we start, we'll do the pronunciation real quick. Um, so since today is like the TM, uh, you know, event, Wooper is the Pokemon we're going to be talking about. So Wooper, um, I was looking up to see if it could be pronounced Wooper, like if anyone pronounced it that way, but it looks like Wooper is the way it's pronounced. And so, yeah, Wooper. All right, let's just get into the battles. I'll put his team on the left side of the screen here so you can see what he's running, but we're just going to jump right into it. And so he's using a safe switch Hypno, which a lot of people ask me, what can I use instead of de uh, Defense Deoxys? Hypno is a very, very good substitute as a safe switch. You're going to see here, he loses the lead to that Diggersby and switches into Hypno. Or I'm sorry, this time Azu he switches into. Azu is also not a bad safe swap. Um, it's just not as, it might not have as much coverage, but the reason he's running Ice Beam is most likely because of that switch in um, opportunity because if you switch in and they switch into a grass type you have that ice move as coverage so if, I do recommend if you are running as you kind of as a switch to have ice beam on it but if you're running it as like a closer maybe just stick with play rough or hydro pump run that combo or if you're leading with as you you know play rough and, and hydro pump because you're gonna run into a lot of as and you're gonna win that mirror match with play rough and not ice beam okay so anyways now that we got that out of the way, Diggersby comes back uh, against the Hypno. And, okay, gonna tank that one. And then the shields are, so he has no more shields, but gonna go for the Focus Blast. And this was one of the, another another tip if you're running, and he lands it, if you're running a switch, like a Pokemon as a switch in, running like an off meta move is very, uh, is a very good strategy because you catch a lot of opponents by surprise. So that's why I believe that's why he's running Focus Blast on the Hypno. And I've tried running Focus Blast Hypno as a switch in and I did land a lot of Focus Blast on Pokemon that were not expecting it, including Umbreon and like Bastiodon and stuff like that. So it's very satisfying as well. It's also a good strategy. So anyways, back to the battle. Hydro Pump lands on the Skarmory because shields are down and then comes in with Sunny Cast Form to well, the one ember does the trick so starts off the set one and oh very very good first set that cmp tie with the skarmory was pretty crazy okay next game is a, a lowland marowak also does not beat that in the lead so switches out into hypno as a safe sw switch and here is a guess is he gonna bait with bone club or shadow bone he goes shadow bone and he predicts uh, he correctly predicts it so burns the shield there and avoids taking a ton of damage and goes for the Focus Blast. Can he land it on this unsuspecting Snorlax? And he does land it. <laughs> so that Snorlax is gone. And so that was good. Oh my God, something popped up real quick. Okay, Scrafty is back in. Well, not back in, but Scrafty is in now. And then, uh, so this is an interesting team that the opponent is running. It looks like they're running kind of like an anti-ghost type of team. So, gonna let, get the foul play. That's fine, lets it go down. Comes in with Sunny Cast Form now and is gonna farm up some energy. Doesn't, like, from this range, Scrafty will not be able to KO it with any move. Even the foul play doesn't KO. So, I'm um, just gonna not shield that one. And then, gonna do a Weather Ball and gets one of the shields. And gonna try to go for that second Weather Ball to get that last shield, but is unsuccessful, does not get to it in time. But that Scrafty is in perfect farm range. You look at its HP. It's a really good farm range. So just lets it go down and just farms it up with Azu. So very good play there. And then Alolan Marowak comes in. Gonna go for the shield bait here. Hopefully can get a shield from that Marowak. 
and does not so unsuccessful in that attempt so that marowak very gutsy not shielding that one uh, because they might actually lose with the shield <laughs> so uh, gonna go for the shadow bones last ditch effort in that one Ooh. ko anyways and so yeah the opponent loses with one shield so probably a mistake to uh, not shield that first attack but it was looking like they were gonna lose anyway so anyways going into game three most likely gonna lose this lead again if i remember correctly and yeah it's an azu not a good lead so we're gonna insta swap into hypno the safe switch and going to build up to a focus blast and see if they can land if they can land one so from here a frenzy plant won't ko so they're not going to shield and then gonna go for the focus blast gonna go for the focus blast okay so here to, here it goes can he land it again and Ooh. he does land it <laughs> so the meganium is gone i guess that meganium was expecting i don't know a shadow ball maybe or a, or a thunder punch thunder punch would have done the least amount of damage but yeah doesn't shield and pays the price and, this, and now is able to get a shield from Azu with the Thunder the thunder Punch. And then it's going to come back with the Azu and most likely not going to shield from here because you have full health. It's definitely good to not shield just to see what kind of moves it's running. You don't want to shield and then have them throw a Hydro Pump and then was be a total waste of a shield. So not going to shield. Uh, opponent res, uh, reveals play rough and just not going to shield it. So just going to keep going. Now they only have... This trainer only has Hydro Pump, so it's a losing matchup for him, but he does have the shield advantage. Decides to try to tank the next play rough, but uh, doesn't time it perfectly. But the opponent comes in with a G Fisk, so it's kind of, um, I guess, G Fisk probably wins this match because of the, the Rock Slide spam, but um, Fire is super effective against it. So, you know, Sunny Cast Form does have play against it. And, ooh, get back-to-back -back rock slides. Will he shield to save that energy? Nope, gonna let it go. All right, interesting. So saving both shields for a very low health Azu. <laughs> so gonna have to burn this shield here. I don't think it matters what they're throwing. Most likely not gonna be an Ice Beam. Because a lot of, I rarely see people run Ice Beam Play Rough. So if they're throwing Play Rough, they most likely have Hydro Pump with it. Um, most likely. But yeah, anyways, gonna go for this Ice Beam. Not sure if this within KO range. It might be. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, I didn't think so. It was because it resists ice. Uh, it actually double. No, no. It doesn't double resist. It's single resist ice. Ooh. But yeah, Ice Beam doesn't do a lot of damage to an Azu. And so, yeah, it relies on those bubbles to farm it down. So very good game. Very close. Had maybe like 10 or so HP left at the buzzer there. So that was a very, very good game. Going into game four against Molotov. Molotov cocktail maybe <laughs> i don't know anyways scrafty not another another lead that scrafty does win i was checking the sims on pv poke scrafty wins that lead so he switches out instantly so it's good to have that knowledge you could tell his trainer has experience um by insta swapping because some trainers might not know that matchup and they might stay in a little bit too long so the fact that he insta swapped uh tells me that he does have a lot of experience with this team and knows when to switch out and when to stay in so anyways Goes for the, the Hail Mary Focus Blast, but it gets shielded. Um, and let's see what happens here. Gonna probably go for a lunge. Yeah, goes for a lunge and then probably just gonna go for a farm down because fire is super effective. Uh, so we're gonna come in with our Scrafty and let's see. It looks like, I think if I remember, they throw a power up punch here and gets the shield. So it was a good shield bait on the opponent's part. But swaps out and saves all that energy. So that was a good, okay, so saving that energy. Let's see what they do with that later. Skarmory comes, uh, Skarmory's gonna throw a sky attack here and Azu is just gonna let it go. And then gonna go for the hydro pump here and let's see if it lands. And it does land, so it takes a huge chunk of damage off of Skarmory, almost within farm range here. Uh, would have to probably shield if they wanna survive. Sky attack, uh, it's close. Yeah, so just to be safe, shields. And then gonna go for the farm down from here because it's like five more sky attacks or five more air slashes to that sky attack. So definitely easy to time it because bubble is the same turn duration as air slash. Comes in with a surprise swap with this with the cast form with energy and gonna throw a weather ball and uh, gonna have to throw another one because he has two and the scrafty is not dead yet. So takes it almost down with those double weather balls. And the power punch is not going to KO, so it looks like it's going to farm down with the Ember. So Sunny Cast Form. 
coming in, storing up all that energy, it, that definitely helped him win that game. And going into game five against 7 5 0, or 7 0 0, I don't know, 75 0. I don't know how you pronounce that name. Now, this is the one lead that he wins against a Tropius, so Tropius being weak to fire. But you can see those Razor Leaves are chunking down a little bit that Sunny Cast form. So, gonna have to throw energy here. Can't just go for the greedy farm down. Um, so, gonna have to throw some energy, and the opponent lets it go. So, now, pretty good position here for. Uh, for this trainer and lets that one go saves the shield okay so has switch advantage wins the lead has energy too oh gonna go for the solar beam oh but they lag oh no okay that was close that lag almost cost him that that match up there and then gets the shield so that would have been clutch that would have been a clutch play if that swampert let it go but that swampert knew better and knows what move it has so it shields and so now, yeah, in a pretty good position here still. Gonna have to watch out for the sludge wave. Ooh, get shield baited there. So that was, okay, that was bad. Gonna go for the ice beam here. And let's see if they get the shield. They do get the shield. And now this is, ooh, can he avoid a sludge wave or will he take it? Oh, gets hit with the sludge wave. So that was very bad. The opponent just caught up tremendously there with that play. And so they both switch out. Hypno against Charizard. Charizard is going to th probably throw a Blast Burn, gets the shield, but it's only, I believe, an only five more fire spins to another Blast Burn, so it looks like... Now this was weird, that Hypno had a lot of energy, and I'm wondering why they didn't throw any charge moves. They were probably trying to keep it low to farm. That was probably what they were doing. So yeah, you want to keep that Charizard alive to farm, but I don't know, that Hypno still had a lot of energy. Maybe could have thrown some more charge moves at this Swampert. So that's where I think this game might have been lost. That was Look how close it was, though. That Swampert had 1 HP. Oh, man, always frustrating to lose like that. And I think where that game could have gone different is had that Hypno thrown a charge move, like a Thunder Punch or something, at the Charizard, which would have done super effective damage. But who knows, because if he did that and knocked it out, Maybe the Swampert could have farmed the Hypno instead of the Azu farming the Charizard. So that's one of those situations where you kind of have to go to PV Poke and just kind of sim it out and see how that scenario would have gone. But I can definitely see where his head was at trying to farm up with the Azu um, because that Swampert does take a big chunk of damage from Ice Beam. So that was a very good play. Um, I think this was a tremendously good set. So well done and thank you for the submission. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you guys are TMing. Don't forget, TM all of your Shadow Pokemon. I just finished doing mine. I think I did like 50 or so today. So, um, yeah. So good luck on that. And yeah. So we'll talk to you this weekend. Hope you has a great. Hope you have a great community day. And we'll see you in the next one.